Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. My name's Elliot. This is Revamped Outdoors. Today we're going to print out some 3D printed bobbers. They're going to look something like this. And you can print them out for around 10 cents a piece. So if that's something you're into, stick around. So I started this project a long time ago, probably in the winter. Um, and I just never really got around to messing around with getting these out and fishing with them. And I've tried them out lately, and I would show you footage of them working on a fish. But I never caught any fish on the bobbers. So, what I can show you is some footage of it just floating in the water. It worked really well, actually. Turned out that the red color here showed up a lot better than the chartreuse color which I thought was going to be backwards from that, but it turned out uh, to work really well with the red. What you could do is you could print the bottom in one color and the top in another because how these are set up is it prints a top and a bottom with the locking mechanism already attached to the bottom. So if you really wanted to, you could get in there and you could either swap filament or have multi-material, something like that, however you're printer works but prints out really well things to note with these is if you use PLA to print them uh, you know if it's hot if it's July or something 90 degrees and sunny that tackle box warms up quite a bit and the PLA starts to get malleable so what I did do is this one right here is printed in PTG this holds up much better than PLA but the tackle box still gets so hot that it actually ends up warping as well. Here's the thing. If you have tackle boxes that are plastic and the sun can get into them, ideally just either cover them up with a sweatshirt or something that you had in the morning or, you know, an extra shirt, a towel or something. Um, it's not good to have everything get that hot anyway. But when we're out fishing, a lot of people, we just don't care, you know. We just leave the tackle boxes out. So that's something to think of. If you have the ability to print it in ABS, it's probably a pretty good option. I currently am building an enclosure for my CR10 printer. I have built it and I can print ABS quite well. I'm just not getting very good layer adhesion. So the layers look really well. Still working out the bugs on that. I'll probably do a video on the CR10 enclosure soon. So stay tuned for that if that's something you're interested in. But what I did is I modeled up three different bobbers. Uh, this is a quite a bit larger one in yellow there. This nice medium, I really like this one. Uh, I kind of modeled it off of an existing bobber, but not quite the same. These are also called fishing floats. I'm sure you've heard that as well. Bobber's more of, a, I think, an upper Midwest type situation, but we say bobbers quite a bit. And then a small one for pan fishing specifically. This will work for panfish, but this one is uh, for lighter bites. So, let's get into uh, putting this one together. If you know how to put this one together, you'll know how to put the rest together. Alright, so welcome to my desk. Probably going to get it pretty hard to autofocus here, but... I think it's better to have it hard autofocus than concentrating on my crotch. Leave a like if you agree. All right, we'll start with this medium one. I think this is the only one I'm gonna to put together. The rest are pretty self-explanatory. Um, this one just sleeves in together. So this top part and this bottom part sleeve together. You glue them together and they're done. These are a little bit different. So we'll put one of these together now. This smaller one as well uh, is put together the small one is put together the same way as this. So if we put this one together, we should be good to go. So let's do it. Usually what I do is I'll print out... Let's throw it. Get out of my face. Uh, so normally what I'll do here is print out on the bed the insert as well as uh, the top and the bottom orientated in this direction on the print bed. And then I usually use a brim because as you can see, uh, it's a very thin wall, right? So this is a PETG print. 
all we're going to do is flip this over, clear out any strings or anything that you have in there. I'm just going to hit, oh man, your favorite CA glue of choice. This is the Bob Smith Industries uh, Cyanoacrylate. It's just super glue. I'm going to put a healthy gob in there. Then I'm just going to throw the insert in there just to stay. Just hold in there momentarily. I'll hit it with a little activator just so it stays in there. Then we're going to take some, this is called backer rod. Caulk saver polyfoam backer rod. This comes in 5 8 inch diameter as well as... 3 8 inch diameter 20 feet for about three bucks what this is is really high density foam you could also use the scissors if you want to be efficient with it but all I do is I cut out about that much of it so you can see what this stuff is it's just a high density foam water resistant they say water resistant but it's pretty much waterproof so I'm gonna take that I'm gonna make sure that I've cut a length that's just slightly longer than what's coming out of there so this is a little long yet I'll cut this down just a bit not a crazy amount to about right there so then we can fold this over onto the insert and it the foam will be on the inside. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to cover the insert with glue. Actually, I'm not going to do the cuz I just sprayed this with accelerator. So I'm going to do it over here. I want to put the glue on the non-accelerated side because if you tried to put glue where you just did accelerator, it's going to be a nightmare. So I'm just going to put that on the inside of the cone. I'm going to place in my foam here. And uh, we have enough accelerator on there, it should be fine. I'm going to push this over. I'm going to push it into the insert. Hold it for your recommended amount of time. Whatever you think you need to hold it for. If you have enough accelerator on that other side, it shouldn't take too long to set up. So now that's there. And then the brim is printed right next to it. So you can just, should have a gap in there. You can pop your brim off. There you go. Got a nice new bobber. So then you can see on the top here, that's where the line goes in. You wrap that once, kind of tighten that down. There's a nice standard medium bobber. Well, hopefully this video inspired you a little bit. Uh, I will put these bobbers, all three of these designs, I'll put them on Thingiverse and I'll have a link in the description below. The only thing I ask is if you do use them, go ahead and comment. Go ahead and leave a comment on the video that you did. And if you catch something with them, please uh, post it on social media. I'm most active on Instagram, but I do have Twitter out there. And you could always email me with pictures and stuff. And I think I'll do uh, maybe like a year-long wrap-up video just showing everything that I get from people uh, that watch the channel try and make this more of a community bouncing ideas off of each other so hopefully you did find it inspiring get out there and make something especially for the outdoors make your life a little bit easier if you have access to a 3d printer or you're thinking about it the prices are coming way down on good quality 3d printers so you have the ability to design things in CAD and bring them into the real world which is a pretty awesome time that we live in so hopefully you find this useful not bad for 10 cents a bobber, I think. 
So go ahead and print them out. Go rip some lips. Keep your amps up and your filament dry. <laughs>